What's up, y'all? BBG here. Young Savage, why you trapping so hard? Why these niggas capping so hard? Why you got a 12 car garage? Why you pulling out? I wanted to talk to y'all real quick. And sorry if, like, this, uh, this, uh, my camera's in like a weird position right now. I don't want to hold it because I'm in my car and, like, I'm gonna start driving pretty soon. So I just wanted to give y'all a quick update. People have been asking why I haven't been on Overwatch lately and what happened. And uh, I just wanted to give, like, give y'all an explanation because I know people who are like are subscribed to my channel. Some of y'all, you know, y'all expecting Overwatch content, which don't worry, I'm still uploading and stuff like that. But I, I'm going to tell the main reason why I had gotten off Overwatch in general is because like I started playing for Honor, and if uh, y'all don't know, you know, um, I'm pretty proud of myself. I went to my first um, for Honor tournament and I won. Uh, like, you know, and I've been grinding on that game real hard and trying to get better at that game. The reason why I'm taking the break off Overwatch is because like Overwatch is just like so. Like, it's so team dependent, which is like what makes it so unique and which makes it like one of the best games in the world because it's so team dependent. It's like one of the like actual games, like you need like a team. I've said this before, so like I said, y'all, like, you know, if y'all looking for like, you know, something entertaining, I'm just talking to y'all right now. So if you're looking for something entertaining or like some pop up or something, like, it's not gonna happen. But, but, but like, you know, it was just a warning to y'all. Like, um, but. You know, Overwatch is like such like a team game, and it's like you know such like a, a big, um, a big communication thing. But like, also what comes with that is like the the biggest and most toxic community out there, and it's like, you know, the amount of excuses that you can make on Overwatch are unlimited as to like playing for honor, which is limited. And what I mean by that is like. When you're losing in like an Overwatch game, you can like make so many excuses up. Like you can say, oh, well, my team's not healing me enough, or the DPS is bad, or we have a Hanzo or a sniper or whatever, or I'm lagging, or like, there's so many excuses you can make, which make, like, you can give people the, or you can have throwers and stuff. And like, the, one of the most frustrating things about Overwatch is that, like, you know, you can be doing extremely well. Like, I know y'all had all the situations. Like, I'm not bragging anything because, like, I'm no god or nothing. Because if I was, I would be a pro. But, like, you know, like, you've had situations like when you're doing extremely well in the game. And, like, you know, out of nowhere, uh, you have like a thrower on your team. Mid game, you decide to throw, go to a Bjorn, Hanzo, Widowmaker, what have you. Jump off the map, try to go up in the enemy team's faces and wave at them, say hello. Or like, you know, there's so many stipulations and so many things that can happen inside of Overwatch. And like, I was getting so sick and tired of that. Like I said, I was one game away from Master and I went back down. I'm 3,000 right now, which is of course not that bad. I got 500 away. And like, once I got off for Honor, I realized that I was like, man, I was like, in this game, there's like no excuses. Like, of course, in every single game, you're gonna have people who are gonna make excuses as to why they lost because people don't like losing. But like in For Honor, it's P2P, it's no P2P, or peer to peer, whatever you wanna call it, connection. So like, you know, people like to say, oh, I'm lagging real bad, which is not the case and whatsoever, especially in 1v1 situations, it's your connection versus theirs. So either one of y'all are messing up. And most of the time is you got green connection. Uh, so, and you can't, there's no outside interference. There's no team, it's just, it's just your skill versus the enemy player's skill. So if you lose, it's strictly because of your skill uh, was lower than the other person. There's like no, you can't, there's no outside interference. You know, you can't say I wasn't getting healed enough or the damage wasn't like, you know, there's there's nothing. There's no team. There's no blaming. It's just you versus one other person. So that's what it comes down to. And like, that's why I started loving For Honor, getting addicted to it because I would literally get on For Honor and play it for like four hours straight, right? No negativity. Might have a couple people like here and there that might quit out. If they quit out, that's fine. It counts as a win for me. Uh, like you know, no neg no excuses. Good game. You know, or, or you people say, oh, you spam that move. But the truth of the matter is, if I can spam the same move and you don't block it or parry it or what have you or counter it, then that's your problem and not mine. Uh, like you know, and I would get on for honor for three or four hours and I'd be good. And you know, I would get on Overwatch and my friend would be like, all right, Tim, get on Overwatch. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go into a game and get called a name. He's like, no, it's not gonna happen. You can't think like that. Go into a game, go into a competitive match. Very first thing I hear, you dumb nigger, all oh, you stupid bitch, all oh, you stupid black. Girl. I'm like, and I gave up for honor for it. And like, you know, like I said, y'all, y'all know if y'all are true to the BBG team, y'all know that I'm not prideful or cocky or arrogant anyway, but. I have proven to my lovely fans out there uh, who watch my content that if I stick to something and I say I'm gonna accomplish it, I can. What I mean by that is I got on Overwatch because I like stopped, started losing interest in it. I got on For Honor 
I got real good at my honor and I won the tournament. Now, I'm not saying I'm some kind of god or pro or anything. Winning one 1v1, the winning one tournament doesn't make anything, but that just goes to show that if I put my mind to something, I can do it. Same thing with Overwatch. If I really put my mind to getting master and getting grandmaster and top 500, I know I can do it. The thing about it is, and of course, I'm not making any excuses. I don't want people to think this is like a video that I'm saying, oh, well, you're making excuses because, you know, no, 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 no. I understand that with every single game there's some things you have to come over and there's some things you have to catapult over or jump over in order to become successful at that game so you know it's just even more of a challenge which I'm getting back into it as you can clearly see like if you do watch my streams I won't be streaming today but I'll be streaming tomorrow I'll put a link in the description but like you know if you do watch my streams you've noticed that, like I have been starting to play Overwatch a lot more and the reason why is because like you know I'm starting to like Overwatch and like I need to get past that I need to get past all that negativity all the excuses you're gonna have throwers you're gonna have people who are gonna disconnect have people who are just gonna like be negative people are gonna be toxic you can be doing good you can have good communication with your team's not doing well you could be doing bad some games like you know so i'm going to be getting back into overwatch i just want to let y'all know that like that's the reason why i'm taking a break up overwatch even on that for honor ground lately but don't worry i'm getting back into ow i'm gonna be grinding toward this masters uh like you know um and I'm definitely going to be, you know, practicing and keep on going. I'm going to watch my video about how to avoid a watch burnout. And I will get back, be getting back into it. So for all y'all who, you know, thought Overwatch was over, it's far from over. I want to let y'all know that. Now I got some out back in the back, so I got to go home and crush it. So I'll catch y'all later. BBG, out.